I didn't buy another vehicle for literally five years and I worked about as hard as I could, I still probably wouldn't get them all done. For some reason, I have to go buy another one. It's not just like this Jimmy. <laughs> like this one? Here. It's not just like that Jimmy. <laughs> There's actually a reason. <laughs> it's, okay, you have to have one of each. Right. So I'm gonna the park Bronco. the Bronco right next to the Jimmy. Oh, they'll be best buds. And like, you know, five, ten years from now. <laughs> best buds forever. <laughs> right here. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh my gosh. Hi. Hi, my name is Bill. <laughs> Hi, Bill. <laughs> I'm addicted to buying cars. <laughs> it's OJ's Bronco, okay? It's probably OJ. I see how far I am away, but I mean, I maybe could come today still. If it, if it doesn't get too late to you. Look, Marketplace. Look at this thing. Like half an hour ago, right? It's the OJ Bronco. White on white. All right, look at this. It is California plates. It's a California lifetime truck. No rust ever. The carpets are kind of dirty. The headliner's drooping. Seats are acceptable. So you have a title with you. Dash pad's not cracked. The guy says the odometer is bad, so it's true miles unknown, but I can fix that. Um, he's got receipts. He just rebuilt the transmission. You can tell. It's got the 5.8, which is the biggest motor you could get. That's the good motor. I mean, this is the OJ Bronco. Yeah, it's raining pretty good in Minnesota, too. So here's the story this guy tells me. He lives in California. He drove that truck all the way to Iowa because he works for a guy and they do investment properties. This is, this is the story he told me. <laughs> and so the motor quit running reliably. It's not blown but he says you can't drive it. All right. And he's firm on his price. It could be a scam. It could be a horrible scam. <laughs> there could be a group of men trying to rob, rob me when I show up. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's a bit sketchy, but it also might be legit. And you know, when fuel is uh, $5.50 a gallon, why not take a four hour drive just to find out? Duh. Let's hit it. This may very well be why I don't get a lot of work done for my customers during the week. <laughs> because we're running to buy more broken down cars because I have at least one more spot that's open. Right. And you have to always have at least one more broken down car in your spot. It's a sickness. It is. I already regret it. I already regret it. For real? <laughs> I do. Because <laughs> I have so many stinking cars. What am I doing with my life? Oh well. You unheard of. I know. Never. I know. An OJ That's one. Come on. I'll buy Bronco. it from you. No, it's not for sale. What? <laughs> <laughs> I am a hoarder, okay? <laughs>
got here. This guy is supposedly living in a motel. <laughs> He's from California. Oh, he I drove the Bronco here from California and it broke down. So he's been stuck here for two weeks is what the story, how the story goes. There is the mighty Bronco. This is the worst kind of motel parking lot, no exit. This is just, nothing about this is good. Hey, it's got some BFGs. I didn't think the rims were factory, but it looks like they are. Here, I'll text this uh, guy and let him know we're here. It's a little chilly out here, isn't it? Yeah, it definitely got colder. <laughs> are you cold, Will? The camera's shaking, that means Will's shivering. There's a little bit of a dent. Here, you can't really see it. It must have creased. It's a crease right there. There's a dent here. A crease in the door. I forgot to ask him if the back window works. We'll have to check on that. Tons of fingerprints. Yeah, it looks I like think it was a dog. A no, that's fingerprints. The window sure. it doesn't go yeah, up. I think it was the dog's nose. Not at all. Does the rear window work? Yes. Nice. Yeah. I mean, I would take it apart and look at it. But... Yeah. I even like the dash. You know, most of those dashes crack right yeah. above the glove box. Right. Now, the guy had it before me had it underneath the tree. Yeah, we must have. Oh, so that's why the paint happened yeah. on the hood? Yeah. What part of Cali did this come out of? Uh, Sacramento. Okay. Cool. and really rich. It smells just like raw fuel. Um, the, there's a brake or a caliper hanging up or something. The window is broken. Now I rolled it all the way down so it won't roll up. But besides that, it's perfect. <laughs> I guessed it. I knew the window was broken. It was still a dog. <laughs> Look at the old receipt. Always looking at the receipt on the way uh, back home yeah. after we finish because this is a little bit I'm of a so stinking area. Whole, the cold. Oh, I'm thinking about safety, Will. I'm thinking about my hands freezing. <laughs> I don't see where it was rebuilt. Uh -oh. I see where it had a transmission and gasket. <laughs> That's oh, the no. same thing. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh. Downside of neoprene bushings. I saw them from the top. I'm like, oh sweet, somebody's replaced them. But neoprene are not long lasting. So it sounds like the hubs are locked in or something. See all this? This is probably like brake dust. I think the calipers are seized on or something stupid. That's why it looks so lousy there. It's definitely at a point where it's not really drivable. Oh, right here. So this has no bushing. <laughs> That's why. 
it's not the caliper, like the whole axle is going forward and back. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that's, that's a part of the problem. Let's hope that that didn't hurt anything long term if you drove it that way. Everything is replaceable. Including you. <gasps> Don't you forget it. Don't you remember I'm the star of the show, Dad? <laughs> did that just it felt like a drug deal. Did that just feel like a hostage ne hostage it, negotiation? It really did. I know it. You know hotel guy in the in the front and he came out and just was just like staring at us. I saw the shadow of the cat under the truck and I for real thought it was the guy walking back behind the truck. <laughs> <laughs> I like I got my bonker and everything. <laughs> Show him the bonker. Bonk. <laughs> what, bonk, what, bonk. What, no, what is that, Will? It's like an old 40s police uh, nightstick. Dad found it at an antique store. Yeah. So now Will carries it in his back pocket and it's his bonker. Oh no! If you go to a motel <laughs> to buy a truck, you <laughs> might be <laughs> at night and do a really shady deal. Here's what we bought. It's like one of those escape rooms with a scary clown that's hiding and you don't know where he's hiding. <laughs> and when you find out, you wish to God you'd never bought in the tickets for the escape room. Well, that's why you need to bonker. We that's bought true. a rust-free California Lifetime Bronco with a clean and clear title. Relatively reasonable, even Very if it has reasonable. some issues. Mm -hmm. And we didn't have to drive to California to get it, so. And it is an OJ. That's why the other reason I was nervous. I'm buying an OJ Simpson Bronco in a really sketchy neighborhood. Right, right. There might be a body. <laughs> well, I didn't want to be the body. Well, that's why you need a bonker. The seller just texted me because I told him we were filming for a YouTube channel. He said, good energy, good luck on your channel, and drive safe. That was nice of him. He knows there's something wrong with this Bronco, so he feels pretty guilty about it. <laughs> but, I bought worse stuff before, that's for sure. And I mean, you already knew it. <laughs> yeah, yeah everybody, yeah, you. for sure. <laughs> At that cheap of a price, you know that there's got to be something wrong with it. It's like an unspoken rule. Yeah. Now, we are heading back. Uh-huh. I just spent quite a lot of my hard-earned thousands to buy this old Bronco. Not quite a lot. That old, it needs a lot of work. I didn't even look at it. I'm like, whatever. I came this far. I'm just going to buy it. It's not rusty. That's the main thing. Should we look at it under the quick stop lights or no? Should we just keep going? I mean, we already bought it. It is what it is. It's too late. We can't drop it back off. That's the truth. Where did I put the title? In my pocket. You better find that. I think I put Do you know anything about anything? Are those just like pine tree buds or what is that stuff? I don't know what that is. It's like all over. Maybe it's from a pine tree. The guy tree. did have it parked under a tree, he said. <laughs> and okay. the window doesn't work. That's true. Okay. You're a detective. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. The big one, and it says... Uh, it says labor, overhaul, 700 bucks. And then the parts are... Fluid, torque converter, banner kit, band overrun, filter, INT servo piston, okay. uh, pump bushing bronze, nice. solenoid block, okay. center support kit, okay. shift kit, nice. A case, shift kit. case bushing, okay. rear main seal, Ooh. and the harness. That's impressive. A total of which he paid $2,966. Which, by the way, that's actually a pretty good deal all that stuff yeah. and a rear main seal custom rebuilt transmission since we're already winning i say double or nothing 
What do you? I got an idea. Let's flip a coin. If I win, double or nothing. We have not eaten yet. Hopefully. In the middle of nowhere, Iowa, this may just be the place, the only place, for which to find some sustenance. Hey, sounds like a fort. What are the odds? How much do you want to bet? What? I'm already gambling. I'm already gambling. <laughs> How much do you want to bet at the fort? Double or nothing. Flip a coin. I would bet a hundred thousand dollars. Oh no, it's not a fort. <laughs> Is it not a Ford? No, it is a Ford. I'm betting on the Ford. Oh, I was betting on the <laughs> no, Ford. No, I am now. Dog, got it. <laughs> you bet against it, I you sucker. Bet against you it. owe me a hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> I did not bet against it. <laughs> you dirty <laughs> dog. You dirty dog. <laughs> you dirty dog. <laughs> All right, Diamond Joe Casino. What do we get? Let's get some steaks, some prime rib, baby. Oh, no. Some watch, pancakes and butter. Watch the. <laughs> After he been there for a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> there's no food at this casino. Who the heck goes to a casino and there's no food? That's why I came. Finally made it. It's only what? Two in the morning. It's only 2 a.m. <laughs> a little bit of a day so far. Trailer lights quit working on the trailer, so uh, we had to run with the flashers on. But thankfully, the Bronco had a brand new battery, so we're still good. What do you think? Do we regret our purchase yet? Not at all. I do. I regret every purchase. I think you do. <laughs> I get all jazzed up and I'm like, yes, it's going to be so great. And then I buy it and it has all these problems. And I'm like, why did I do this to myself? That's why we can't ever have nice things. <laughs> I've done my best to be good to this Bronco ever since I got it. But I've had it sitting here all of a sudden. She don't want to start. Well, that's annoying. Because it seemed to start every time. Now it doesn't even want to crank over and I don't seem to have power on the trigger. I do have a weird ignition switch. It's all wobbly and weird. Because that's really what's going on. This ignition switch sends power to that starter solenoid. And the starter solenoid sends power down to the starter. Right? How hard can that be? Maybe I can just try to hotwire the truck. Let's see. I just need to move it out of the shop. super late at night and I still have to fix a customer's car. The moral of the story is if that guy would have kept that truck one day longer it would not have started anymore. I would have probably got it much cheaper because it wouldn't start and he wouldn't have known how to get it started. Windows broke, won't start. All right. I hope I can get it fixed fast enough that I could actually ever drive.